Hello. Today we're going to be looking at uh, the theorem of Thales. This will be investigating the angles in circles. So to start, we're going to create a semicircle, and we have A and B, which are the endpoints of the diameter of the circle. And we'll have some point C here that lies anywhere along this semicircle. Now we're going to create line segments connecting AC and BC. And then here we'll have O as the center of the circle. So now we're going to investigate angle C. So as we can observe, if we move point C along the circle, this angle appears to stay the same. So, our goal will be to find out what that angle is. So to do that, we're going to connect another line segment from the center of the circle to points A, B, and C. So create line segment OA, OB, and OC. So creating like this. Now since all of these line segments will be the radii of the circle, they'll all be equal in length. So all of these, these three blue, red, and purple lines will be equal in length. Therefore we'll be able to create isosceles triangles. So we have isosceles triangle B, O, and C, and also A, O, C. So when we connect it, Again, we have these two isosceles triangles. So therefore, this angle here, so angle B, will be the same angle here. So these red angles will be equal, as will these two blue angles here. So this angle is 18 degrees, so therefore this also is 18 degrees. And this angle is 72 degrees, so therefore this one is as well. So therefore, angle C will be the sum of this blue angle and the red angle. As we can see, 72 plus 18 will add up to 90 degrees. So in this configuration, angle C is 90 degrees. Now if we move C along the circumference of the circle, so for example here, we have this angle is 55 degrees now, and angle B is now 35 degrees. But again, if we add up 35 and 55, it also equals 90 degrees. And we can see this for wherever C is along the circle. So even here, this 81 degrees and 9 degrees add up to 90 degrees. So from this, we can see that angle C is 90 degrees for wherever point C lies. And then we should be able to prove this using other methods now that we notice that it should always be 90 degrees. Thank you.